So um, my name is Cynthia. I'm a pharmacist um, practicing in Ontario. Um, the reason I want to record this video is I like to um, explain how um, the Trillium drug program works for people who may need to apply for it. Uh, it is a program available to, to um, residents of Ontario who may need some assistance with uh, high drug costs. And I, in my experience, I find that um, the process to apply or to figure out if you benefit from it is quite complicated. And I hope in this video, I'll shed some light into uh, what it is, whether um, you may benefit from it. And if you do benefit from it, how do you actually go about applying for uh, the Trishulium drug program? So I'm going to just um, share my slides. Um, so this is kind of an outline of what I want to talk about. Um, just let's move into what is the Trillium drug program. So as I mentioned earlier on, um, it is a drug program that is available to Ontario residents. Um, it is meant uh, for people who have high prescription drug costs in relation to their net household income. And so basically it is available to anyone who has an Ontario uh, health card. Um, of course, um, you know, it probably will benefit most to people who need it. And these would be people who have significant drug costs in relation to their net household income. So this is the part that usually confuse people. Often I hear people say they don't qualify. In fact, everyone qualifies in Ontario as long as they have a drug card. It's just a deductible that is determined for them may not make it um, meaningful for them to apply. And um, often uh, just because they help pay for um, drug costs, that doesn't mean that there isn't a part that the patients or the family has to pay. So this is what we call the deductible that um, in every year, there's a deductible that the family uh, who's applying for the program has to pay. And this is determined based on their household income and how they usually determine their household income is based on your income tax information from the last year. Uh, so in some cases, if you haven't filed your income tax, there are other ways to provide as a support for your uh, income. But the simplest way is actually to be able to uh, get that information directly from uh, CRAs. And that's part of the application form that, um, that they will be requesting consent from you to get that information. So um, everyone who lives in Ontario who has a, a health card can apply to the Trillium drug program. Um, there is a deductible, so it's not like you, have, you don't have to pay it for anything. How much you pay, it depends on how your household income. And um, so um, I already mentioned this already, you know, everyone um, can apply. Um, not everyone will benefit, but the key thing is you should have already filed an income tax in the previous years. Um, and in some cases, you know, your previous income level to your current level may be significant different. There is also a, a form that you can actually fill out to appeal their decisions in terms of um, their deductible that has been determined. Again, that's more complicated and I won't be able to go over it in this uh, particular video, but um, the bottom line is um, you, you do still have to pay a certain portion and that you should have at least filed your income tax from the previous year. So the next thing is how do you know if you benefit from this program? Uh, that's probably a, a question that is very specific to your individual case, but these are three key um, um, questions that you should answer for yourself. Uh, first, how do you determine? You have to first determine what your household income is and the number of members in your household. So in some cases, it could be two adults with two kids, or it could just be two adults in a common law relationship. So you're not just applying for, your, for yourself individually, but it is an application for the entire household. However, you define that household for your situation. Um, the second thing you have to determine is uh, what's your approximate monthly drug cost for, for your household. So uh, one of the important uh, pieces of information you may have to calculate or collect is, you know, your prescription receipt from your pharmacy. You have to determine how much your monthly cost is. Sometimes we um, get medication for a three month supply, other times it's a month, but you have to have an idea approximately 
uh, how much you are spending on drug uh, or prescription drug costs on a monthly basis. And that is important to uh, determine so that we can figure out if you actually can benefit from this Trillium drug program. And the third thing that uh, we have to estimate is your annual deductible. And this, you have to refer to the application guide in the appendix, uh, because based on your household income, the number of family uh, members in your household, um, it will determine what your approximate uh, annual deductible would be like. So here's an example that I want to just use to illustrate some um, important ideas here. Uh, we're looking at an, a family of four with two adults and, and two kids, and with two adults making a total approximately 80,000 um, annual income. And here are just some of the um, you know, possible scenario we're looking at. You know, the father may have diabetes and maybe on some of the medication I've listed here, metformin, epiglipizone, insulin. And I've kind of already pre-calculated the approximate monthly drug costs. Um, and, and you can see that um, total, um, he's paying around um, $195 for all this medication that he's taking. And the mother, on the other hand, um, may have hypertension, is on Ramipril, and Ramipril costs about $15 per month. And they might have a son who have asthma, is on Symbocord, and Symbocord um, is quite costly and costs about $130 uh, per month. And they also have a daughter who may have eczema and may be on a topical cream that, they, that she uses sparingly and is about $20 a month. So if you add up um, the total monthly cost for all four uh, members, that's about $360 on a monthly basis. And what I have also done here at the bottom is that I've also calculated the quarterly drug cost and how you do that is you look at the monthly drug cost for the entire household and multiply by three because quarterly is just uh, uh, in a three months period. And that comes just um, uh, a little bit over $1,000, $1,080. So that's important to, to know. So the next thing I'm going to do is kind of show you, uh, I've taken right in the um, Trillium drug guide in the appendix. And this is, um, the appendix has basically um, in Excel spreadsheet of a lot of numbers, but you really, what, what you want to do is you look at the left hand side where it tells you what the household annual net income is. And then you look at how many um, members uh, you fall under. So there's the single uh, family, there's the family of two, family of three, or family over three. And in our case, because we have um, uh, four people in, our in, in the household, we're looking at a family over three. And if you look at the, Call, um, the row that specified the annual income of around $80,000, you can quickly see that the annual deductible for this family household is about $3,000 and $11. So, so what? And so this is the part where you have to figure out if it really is beneficial for your household or your, or your situation to apply. Um, the annual deductible we just determined um, for this example and how the Trillium drug program works is they will aim to collect your deductible every three months. So the entire annual deductible will be broken up into four um, chunks, basically four quarters, and they will start collecting the deductible at the beginning of August at the beginning of November, at the beginning of February, and at the beginning of May. So for this example, where the annual deductible is about $3,011, each quarterly is due um, around the same time, and I've kind of calculated what that looks like. So every August, November, at, at the beginning of August, the household will be expected to pay that quarterly deductible with around $750 dollars and 75 cents. So every quarter at the beginning of that, that's kind of when they will start collecting. Now they're not going to ask you to collect that money up front. It's just when you start dispensing, um, paying for prescription, you're paying towards the deductible. So for example, in August, you have to pay for um, your son's symbol cord. It's, you know, it's $130. So you will have to pay for $130, but that will go towards the deductible. And once you pay up the $752.75, the remaining uh, drug costs will be covered by the Trillium. 
Um, so here is basically um, uh, showing you whether in this example, whether you know, the household would benefit or not. So you can see here that the quarterly drug cost for the household is $1,080. The quarterly deductible is $752.75. So after you have paid up to that deductible, the remaining difference would be around $327.35 that she goes towards um, the drug program. So you'll be saving every quarter about $300 and annually about $1,309. That's not a lot, I know, because a lot of people look at, well, you're not paying a lot, but it is paying or helping something. Um, but on the other hand, if you have worked out that your quarterly drug cost is actually less than your quarterly deductible, it definitely is not worth your time to apply to the Trillium drug program. So I hope that clarifies who benefits, how do you figure that out? Um, it is a little bit um, complicated to kind of look at the annual deductible, how much um, you're paying, and that will change because your physician may tell you to start a new medication that's going to cost you a lot more, that may make it more wor uh, worthwhile to apply for a trillion drug program. But this is kind of a snapshot of what it looks like in a specific uh, uh, situation. So how, if you, have decided that you need to apply for a Trillium drug program, um, how do you do it? Uh, when I work with my patients to um, get their information together, these are the information that I want to make sure um, they bring to their appointment. Uh, they will have to make sure they have their social insurance number. Um, I have to know what how many members are in the household. They probably know already, but I don't and the um, annual net income as per their last notice of assessment. Again, if they don't have that information, as at least approximately, that will help me figure out uh, or estimate their annual deductible and be able to determine if they actually benefit from applying. The last thing that I usually want to talk about is the preferred enrollment day. And that is quite important. And sometimes it's hard to explain that clearly. And so normally our, the Trillium drug program begins on August 1st of every year. And that is also when the annual deductible will start kicking in on August 1st. So um, if um, you know your annual deductible is 3,000 and you have a quarterly is $700, you, start, you have to start paying up for your deductible on August 1st. However, if um, you know, you're not gonna, you know, you, uh, you may not have decided to apply on August 1st and you, you may have a significant health conditions that uh, make you, you know, start incurring drug costs at a different day. And you might actually want to set an enrollment day closest to that day. And what that does is it will uh, prorate your deductible to that day. So it, for example, if you um, know that you're going to start a very expensive medication um, say in February, and that's like half, um, you know, the Trillium program has gone already. So it doesn't make sense for you to pay for the whole annual deductible. But if you've prorated to February, what they'll do is that, well, your annual deductible is calculated around say $3,000, but because we're gonna prorate it to February, your annual deductible will be $1,500. So you, that is actually to your advantage to make sure you select the most um, appropriate enrollment date. The other thing is you may have already incurred certain drug costs um, starting a certain day. And if you make sure that you set your day uh, uh, prior to that, then all the drug costs that you have incurred after that day uh, are eligible to for, for submitting the claim. So hopefully you get your money back. Um, so he, this is just an example I thought I, I will use to explain the importance of an enrollment day. It's like, for instance, if you've been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and started incurring, incurring significant drug costs in February, you might want to specify your enrollment day to that month so that you are only paying um, a prorated deductible of six months instead of an annual amount. There's a few additional notes that I want to include here is that if you have already applied for Trillium, uh, make sure that you let your pharmacy know. So often once everything is set up, 
the pharmacy should be able to submit claim directly so you don't have to pay upfront. Um, the only exception is if you already have other private drug coverage simultaneously, then you may have to submit your claims to the private insurance first, and then any remaining drug costs will have to be submitted annually. Um, the second thing is that, um, you know, if your trolling is not set up, um, just keep your receipt because you should be able to submit the claim afterward and get your money back. And this is kind of where um, you have to do some manual work to uh, either mail in your receipt um, and hopefully they will um, process it timely enough for you to get your money back. So these are kind of the key, few key things I want to talk about with the Trillium drug program. Um, this is where um, you might want to keep it handy in terms of contacting the Trillium to follow up about your application. Um, and uh, there's an email now set up, so that can be handy. And, and also the link to the Trillium drug program guide as well as the application form. Um, so I hope that was helpful. I'm going to include the link to the application form um, in the note section so that you can also link to it if you need to apply for the Trillium drug program. Thank you for your time.